There is so much to love about superstar Rihanna, and it's safe to say she's lived an extremely interesting life. Today we're going to be talking about some of the strangest facts we've ever heard about Rihanna. But first, make sure to take a moment and subscribe to The Taco for more great videos. Now let's get started. Jay-Z we know, we know. It's hard to imagine a time when Rihanna wasn't a world-famous performer. But let's think back to a time when teenage Rihanna hadn't yet been discovered. But back when she was called Robin Rihanna Fenty, she scored an audition with record producer Evan Rogers. Right away, he knew something was special about her and was impressed by her presence before he even heard her sing. He had her record her now-famous song, Ponder Replay, and sent a copy of it to several record labels with the hope of getting her signed. One of the companies was none other than Def Jam, and Jay-Z himself listened to the song. He was absolutely blown away by Rihanna. Rihanna's talent and wanted to meet her as soon as possible. After sitting down for an interview, Jay-Z asked what he would have to do in order for Rihanna to cancel all of her other meetings and sign on with Def Jam. Not only was he eager to sign her, but he wouldn't even let her leave until she had joined the label. She ended up staying there until 3 o'clock in the morning while lawyers drew up paperwork and ironed out all of the details. Accent. The song Ponder Replay went on to become a huge hit, but Rihanna's subsequent music had quite the different sound. Rihanna hails from Barbados and has an accent because of this. After Ponder Replay, she started singing with an American accent because she believed it would make her music more accessible and catchier. After this new way of speaking didn't stop there, Rihanna believed it made her sound more professional, so adapted a different style of speaking for business meetings as well. In addition to learning a new way of speaking, Rihanna had to make some musical additions to her vocabulary. Prior to signing on with Def Jam, she had never received formal singing lessons. She began working with Neo, who taught her how to breathe properly while singing, among other things. Despite her talent, Rihanna had a lot to learn and admitted to being quite confused when Neo requested she do staccato. Rihanna is also so self-assured and confident that it's strange to think of her struggling to learn about music. But Rihanna knew she had a lot to learn if she wanted to be successful in the music industry, and she was willing to put in the effort. Inspiration Rihanna is a source of inspiration for so many of us, but you might be surprised to know who inspires her. She's admitted to being heavily influenced by the style, music, and attitude of Madonna. If you think about it, this makes perfect sense. Both of these super talented women are constantly evolving and reinventing themselves. Rihanna claims to admire the multiple changes Madonna has made over the course of her career, and how she always remains a powerful force in the music scene. Staying with one style for an extended period of time isn't for Rihanna, and she believes this helps keep her in the public eye. She wants to keep experimenting with both her music and her style, just to keep things interesting. Another source of inspiration for this singer is Lady Gaga. We always thought there was no fashion risk too great for Rihanna, but she admits she couldn't pull off some of the crazy styles Lady Gaga is famous for. Although she admires Lady Gaga's fashion, Rihanna claims she likes her outfits to be a little bit more practical. She says you definitely won't spot her wearing a dress made of meat anytime soon. Insurance there's no denying that Rihanna is absolutely gorgeous, and it's safe to say she looks like a million bucks. As a matter of fact, we mean that literally, thanks to a strange insurance policy the singer took out. Rihanna has won many awards over the course of her career, but they haven't all been for her music. The razor brand Venus is always on the lookout for a good pair of gams, and they have a yearly Legs of a Goddess contest. While a great pair of legs is required, winning this award takes a lot more. Winners have to exude confidence and charisma and have an awesome personality to match their awesome legs. During the 2007 contest, Venus selected a celebrity to win the honor of a Celebrity Legs of a Goddess award. Because of her incredible looks and vivacious personality, Rihanna was a shoe in to win. She joined the panel of contest judges and said she was thrilled that Venus thinks her legs are award worthy. Rihanna winning an award for her amazing legs isn't exactly surprising, but what's strange is what she did afterwards. After being honored with this award, Rihanna proceeded to take out a million dollar insurance policy on her legs. Awkward. Some celebrities make being a little bit awkward an art form. It can make them seem more approachable, and it can be an endearing character trait. Think about how much attention celebs like Jennifer Lawrence receive when they do something embarrassing yet relatable, like take a tumble during an award show. But Rihanna seems like one of the coolest stars around, and it's hard to imagine her being stuck in an awkward situation like the rest of us. But apparently, it has happened to her, and at an extremely vulnerable moment. Part of being a celebrity is dealing with being recognized all the time while out in public. It can be unpleasant, especially when the celeb is in the middle of something. While traveling, Rihanna decided to freshen up by getting a bikini wax from a 25-year-old American woman. It turns out she's a huge Rihanna fan and recognized her immediately. During the waxing process, this employee told Rihanna all about how big of a fan she is and even had the audacity to ask for an autograph. Rihanna said the experience was mortifying and it changed what she looks for in a waxer. Now she tries to find someone who is older and doesn't speak English to avoid such a situation from occurring ever again. Rider. 
Booking a celebrity to make an appearance on your show or at a concert venue can be tricky. Sure, you need to negotiate some sort of compensation, but the demands of a celebrity don't end there. A rider is a document which lists all of the requirements a celebrity has for making an appearance. These can contain simple things, such as dietary restrictions, but many celebrities request things which are oddly specific to say the least. You might think a huge star like Rihanna would only want the finest of foods, but it turns out she demands to be supplied with both regular and hot Cheetos. She prefers the hot kind, but sometimes likes to mix it up. Other snacks requested by the star are gummy bears and garlic stuffed green olives. To wash her snacks down, she likes to have an assortment of Corona, Vita Coco coconut water, Jack Daniels whiskey, and Grey Goose vodka. In addition to a curated assortment of particular food and beverages, she also likes to cultivate a particular ambience. She requests a clean rug, some tasteful drapery, and a white couch large enough for her to stretch out and take a nap on. Umbrella Rihanna has released tons of hit songs over the course of her career, but right now we're going to focus on the smash hit Umbrella. For a long time, it seemed like we just couldn't stop singing along with this catchy tune. This song is one of the first which comes to mind when many people think about Rihanna, but it wasn't originally going to be hers. The song was first written for Britney Spears, who was recording her album Blackout at the time. But Spears already had enough material, so it was then sent to Mary J. Blige, who also had too much on her plate to take it on. Eventually, the song made its way to Rihanna, who absolutely mastered it. If you were surprised to hear Jay-Z's verse in the song, you should know Rihanna was as well. While she was recording, a different verse was used during that time, and she had no idea Jay-Z was putting together some much better lyrics. Despite singing about them, Rihanna has actually had to forbid her fans from bringing their own umbrellas to her shows. It may sound silly, but it's a safety concern. A bunch of people dancing around with umbrellas during a concert could easily lead to someone getting injured. Exorcism being a celebrity means being exposed to many unusual things, but Rihanna's life was already plenty exciting before she made it big. Rihanna grew up in Barbados, and going to church was a huge part of her life. Although she left when she was a teenager in order to pursue her musical career, she witnessed some odd occurrences first. According to Rihanna, the church she attended frequently performed exorcisms, and she got so used to seeing them, they even seemed commonplace. Every so often during a church service, one member of the church would rise from their seat and begin spinning and screaming as if they were totally out of control. This would cause everyone else to rush at them and begin to pray over them in order to drive out any evil entities. This may sound like a frightening experience, especially to those of us who are horror movie fans, but it was just part of Rihanna's average church service. She once recalled that as a young girl, she and some friends were praying when one of them got up and started screaming. The adults ushered Rihanna and the others away so they could perform an exorcism on the young girl. Although she claims to find the whole thing humorous as an adult, Rihanna admits she was pretty terrified as a child. Cadet when it comes to fashion and music, Rihanna is more known for inventing the rules than following them. And apparently, even as a child, she had zero interest in following the orders of others. This may be hard to picture, but Rihanna was a member of the Cadets Corp when she was growing up in Barbados. Apparently, the Cadets Corp program is similar to our ROTC program, and signing up is completely voluntary for both men and women. It's hard to imagine Cadet Rihanna putting on a pair of camouflage fatigues, but it's how she spent a lot of her time as a youth. To make this scene even stranger, the singer Chantel was involved in the program as well. She served as Rihanna's drill sergeant and can actually say she made the pop star drop and give her 10. However, Rihanna soon grew tired of following orders and doing push-up after push-up. She admits she had trouble dealing with the discipline required in order to excel in the cadet's corpse and would sometimes flat out refuse to complete her punishments. To be honest, that sounds much more like the Rihanna we know and love. Haunted Although she is able to laugh at her past experiences with exorcisms, this doesn't mean Rihanna is completely fearless in the face of the supernatural. Although it's situated on the iconic Sunset Boulevard, the Chateau Marmont has quite the unsettling history. The hotel has been considered a cultural landmark since 1976 and has been utilized by no small number of big stars. Columbia Pictures founder Harry Cohen once remarked, if you must get in trouble, do it at the Chateau Marmont. Perhaps unsurprisingly, many celebs have taken this advice to heart over the years and treat the hotel as a place to let loose and have some often ill-advised fun. Although many celebrities have stayed there over the years, it's more known for the people who lost their lives there. John Belushi passed away after a fatal overdose, and fashion photographer Helmut Newton lost his life while leaving the hotel. This is all too much for Rihanna, who admits she has no interest in showing up to Chateau Marmont. She claims to feel some peculiar energies on the property and says it's borrowed space. Everyone has something they're superstitious about, and for Rihanna, this is one of them. Were you surprised to learn any of these strange facts about one of our favorite pop stars, Rihanna? Let us know if we managed to shock you in the comment section. Then click on the subscribe button to get more great videos from the Taco. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.